Mike Florio from Pro Football Talk um, talked about extending Baker Mayfield and the time to do it. Let's listen to Mike Florio from Pro Football Talk. Look, I, I can I can make this very simple. Uh, you got a decision to make if you're the Cleveland Browns. The longer you wait, the more expensive it's going to be to sign Baker Mayfield. And yeah. I think part of the dance right now between Mayfield, Josh Allen, the Bills, Lamar Jackson, the Ravens is whoever goes first is going to get leapfrogged by the next guy who's going to get leapfrogged by the next guy. So everyone's kind of in a holding pattern here. But if you know Mayfield's your guy, and only you as the Cleveland Browns can know whether or not he's the guy, if you're sold on this guy completely, totally, and unconditionally, then you got to sign him now because it's only going to get more expensive later. That's right. If you're not sold, then you wait. Doug Lamarice, what do you think? I think they're sold. But I also think they could wait because <laughs> I, I think that, you know, every time this conversation comes up, it's like, I'm sure he's going to be here. I'm sure he's going to sign at some point. I think Mike does make a good point about the idea that Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, and Baker Mayfield are in the same class and kind of in that same situation. I, I think in some ways, you know, listen, Baker Mayfield's their guy, but he's not as accomplished so far as Lamar Jackson and Josh Allen are. Right. I mean, Lamar Jackson has an MVP. Josh Allen was at the fringe of the MVP conversation last year. Baker Mayfield's just not there yet. You know, I mean, he had a good rookie year, rough second year, a little rough early last year and a great finish to last season. So he doesn't quite have the skins on the wall that Lamar and Josh had. So I do think that it could make sense. I don't think Baker has to wait for them. Right. That part of this is, you know, the Baker side of things as well as well a little bit that I just. I think it might make sense for the Browns and Baker Mayfield for them to go now, for them to go first, because Lamar Jackson and Josh Allen might build off Baker, but I don't know. I mean, are you, is Baker Mayfield, can Baker Mayfield look at Lamar Jackson and say, well, I deserve exactly the money that the guy who already has an MVP got. So listen, I still just think it's, it's a little bit pick and nits to me that, I mean, he's the Browns long-term quarterback, so I'm not, too wound up about the timing, but I think it could make sense for both sides to do it sooner than later. Yeah, and and the the thing I would say about comparing uh, Baker Mayfield to to Lamar Jackson and Josh Allen is those guys have been in the same system. They had a better surrounding support cast, and it's been something they've been able to build on. This is really the first time in his career with the Browns that Baker Mayfield can build on a, a previous season. He can, but, but I also don't think that it would be fair to characterize it as if they don't do something now, it means that they're uncertain, right? I mean, I, I, I don't – I can understand why you might connect the dots that way, but I don't think you have to connect the dots that way. That If you believe in him, you sign him now because you think he's only going to get better. If you're questioning him, you let him wait because you think he might fall off. I, I don't think it means that, but I just think maybe there are other things at play – that they don't do it right now. But again, I, I don't think there has to be anything holding it up. I, I don't think there is anything holding it up. But I also don't know that it guarantees. I'm bad at this topic. <laughs> like this. It's like, I'm just like, it's going to work out. It's my answer to everything is, it's all going to work out. So like, what are we worried about? I understand why people are talking about it, but I'm not worried, man. Now, later, whenever. But I do think it could make sense now. 